This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck. It is a 1995 Dodge Ram 2500. Um, it's a three-quarter ton, 5.9 Cummins turbo diesel, two-wheel drive, regular cab. Uh, I was at the uh, dealer auction, the uh, Mannheim auction, and this thing rolled through with uh, typical old Dodge paint that had peeled off just about the entire truck and it was running great blowing ice cold air um, and I'm like nobody wanted it so I bought it um, we sent it to Mako Mako actually did a fairly good paint job uh, it's not perfect by any means obviously if you know Mako paint you know it's a one stage paint but not bad um, and it runs like a champion um, all it really needs is a set of tires um, it's got a driver's seat that has a seat cover on it um, I could have done an insert on it for maybe $150 and fixed it, but I just kind of wanted to keep the price down uh, so that it's affordable. But uh, what a great little truck for, you know, towing small boats or, you know, uh, camper trailers, hunting or whatever. It's just perfect for that. Um, all I recommend is tires. The tires are pretty much done. Let's see. Paint looks, I mean, gosh, I'm not used to seeing. He didn't take out, there's a little ding here. Didn't take out any of the small dings or nicks or whatever. There was a couple, uh, not, I wouldn't say huge, but semi-large dents on the passenger bedside that he took out. Um, but uh, you know, even, even the tape off on the trim, he did a pretty good job. Um, this is one of your above average Mako paint jobs in my opinion. Again, it's not like a you know multi-stage paint job by any means, but if anyone's familiar with Mako, you know what I'm talking about. I think that there was a large dent right here that's gone, and I think that there was one right in front of the rear passenger wheel. By large, I mean it was kind of long and not not like it got wrecked. It looks like it rubbed up against something. But uh, there was barely any paint on it. It had that Dodge paint that just peels right off the car type of thing. Anyway, you got your light package here. Different plugs. Tow package. It's nice because it's a long bed. Regular cab instead of a short bed. I don't even know if they made a short bed. Um, two-wheel drive there's a ding here see a little something he painted over there <laughs> honestly I was very surprised at what I saw when this came back from uh, paint and detail this tire is completely gone um, I believe we're looking at uh, 16 inch tires yeah LT 265 7516 um, if you want to come here and uh, you know you're especially if you're flying in from out of state and you want to drive it home it runs great you'll be fine with that running part of it but obviously you need tires um, if you go to discounttires.com find the set of tires you want for it um, Call uh, Thomas. He's at the location. It's uh, I think it's like the 8400 block of East Broadway. Ask for Thomas. Give him your credit card. Uh, he'll give you a five or ten percent discount on the tires. Plus, you won't pay taxes. We'll have the tires on the truck when you arrive, and that'll be that. There's your Cummins diesel motor, and it runs like a champion. All right. Let's see. Let's go through this thing. Look at the roof real quick. Make sure there's no surprises up there. And there's none. All right. Let's see. Lift this up. Make sure. I wonder if there's anything cracked underneath the dash. I don't see anything. Usually the dashes on these things crack, so kind of surprising not to see a crack there. Center console. Inside it. 
seat cover on here is hiding that. Um, I don't really want to deal with that because technically speaking, this would be kind of hard to deal with unless you actually bought all the fabric for this seat. Um, I'm trying to keep the price of this thing down so it can be affordable for whoever wants to, uh, to have it. Um, that would probably add more I'm looking at it, you'd have to buy that fabric, so it would probably be two or three hundred dollars for no reason. Here's your start. A little wear on the steering wheel. Um, I did notice when I was messing with the buttons in this thing, the cruise control button here kind of sticks. So I don't even know if the cruise works. Assume it does not work because we're not going to go there. Like I said, I'm just trying to keep this. I get people calling me all the time, you know. Do you have a six or a seven thousand dollar Ram diesel? You know, and I always say uh, that doesn't happen. <laughs> you don't get a five nine for that. I don't care how many miles it has on it. But uh, we do. Now, yeah, it is two wheel drive, but uh, it is what it is. Radio works. It has a series. I don't know if, if the there's a subscription to it. But uh, it's pretty cool. Um, so anyway, that's there. I don't even know how to work it. I'm not even going to pretend to, act, to know how to work it. There's an ashtray that looks like it's never been used. It doesn't smell like smoke in here. So cup holder. Um, carpet looks great. Just uh, the usual bad Dodge paint, which is now fixed. Tilt wheel works. Let's see. We have 157,257 miles on it. There you go. Um, I've got the air conditioning blowing. We turn it all on the. There you go. Wow. And it's cold. Overdrive on and off. Got that. Let's see. We got an overhead computer. Let's see metric. Let's see. That's. I guess that's all it does. Temperature. <laughs> that's bizarre. That's old school. All right. Uh, this is on a clear title. So there's no need for an inspection. Most of my stuff is uh, is a uh, is a salvage tile due to theft or a clear tile due to theft. Let me uh, make sure the windows work before we go anywhere. That works. And let's see. Let's see. And there's the passenger window. So the answer is yes. All right. I just want to make sure that worked. Anyhow, if you come to Tucson to drive it away, all you're going to pay is tax and dock fee. Dock fee is $250. Taxes are 2% 2 Tucson city sales tax, plus whatever your state tax rate is. If you're an in-state person from Arizona, our in-state tax rate is 7.1, um, plus our city tax of 2%. So you're going to pay 9.1% tax if you're from Arizona, plus a $250 dock fee. If you come from out of state, you're going to pay the dock fee of $250 plus taxes of 2% plus your state's tax rate. If you're from Oregon or Alaska, um, they're zero. So you're going to pay 2% tax and a $250 dock fee. Um, just whatever your state tax rate is. If your state tax rate is 3%, you're going to pay a total of 5% taxes and you're going to pay $250 dock fee. Um, if you pay by wire and ship, all you're going to pay is the agreed upon price and that's it. Very simple. Um, no dock fee, no taxes, nothing. Um, we have a recommended shipper. His name is Fred from Beacon Shipping Logistics. His uh, number is in our ad, in the middle of our ad. You can call him. His prices are generally right in the middle. Um, we find that if you go cheap, uh, the truck can sit here for several weeks waiting for somebody to pick it up. Um, if you go too expensive, obviously you pay too much money and it'll leave like in 10 minutes you know obviously you can get anything anywhere for too much money uh, but fred's right in the middle the good thing is he communicates with you you can call him and say hey where the heck's my truck and he'll answer the phone a lot of these guys don't because they know you're mad at them <laughs> so so uh fred fred's been with us for a couple of years we don't do shipping we don't arrange shipping because it's just too much work too many phone calls too much aggravation but fred handles that for us really well um, give him a call. He'll give you a number on what he what it what it should cost, and it'll be generally it'll be right in the middle. You know, we just had a guy who uh, 
bought a gigantic lifted Ford F-250 monster truck, and he's going to north of San Francisco. And a guy quoted him 550. Well, that's impossible. <laughs> I pay 750 to get vehicles I bought in San Francisco to Tucson. So this guy's going to pay 550 to have a monster truck, and he wouldn't deal with Fred. Well, the guy showed up with a truck with a trailer the size of something your five-year-old would own, and it broke his trailer in half. And the guy won't give the deposit back, and it's over. So that's what happens with shipping. So make sure, no matter what you do, even if you don't use Fred, don't go with the cheapest guy. Let's go from zero. Let's see the turbo. Yep. Perfect shifting. Very nice. Um, the shifting, the tranny is beautiful. Uh, very smooth, uh, quiet. Considering the tires are like non-existent, <laughs> it has a very nice ride. So put some tires on this thing and uh, things should get really, really good. Anyway, thank you very much for your time. Uh, have a safe week, safe weekend. And make sure you get a deposit in on this thing. If you don't have a deposit, we don't have a done deal, we will sell it to the first person who brings money. All right? Thank you very much.